with me on uh, day one of the entry festival, uh, Ruby Walsh. First of all, let's, let's have a quick look to Saturday, Ruby. You've chose on his own. Um, ground conditions and everything, are you happy at this stage? Yeah, I thought it would be a bit slower. Um, it's drying out quite well. There's a bit of a nip in that breeze today, now. maybe that's bringing rain with it. Um, won't bother me if it does, but, uh, you know, track looks great. It's an open kind of a contest. I think synchronised being seven pounds well in, if he jumps quick enough, he's going to be the one we have to beat. But uh, look, the national is the national. Could be all over the back of the first. Mm. Was yours a difficult choice? Of course it was. I mean, between um, Willie's three, the Midnight Club, who I thought was a bit careful here last year and doesn't seem to be in as good a form this year. Uh, Kiss Cover Fontaine, I think, is very unexposed. Uh, Paul is very keen on, on Neptune Collange. He's come down quite a bit in the weight and he's a former grade one winner. And then I could have ridden Sea Bass for Dad. But look, I ride a lot of horses for Paul and Willie, and I'm kind of always going to have to ride one of theirs. So um, on his own, he's, he's eight years of age, he's a good weight, and he's back at 10 11. Uh, he was good performance in the TS day, so he's the one I plumb for. Mm. More immediate thoughts, and those immediate thoughts on big bucks. History on the hoof this afternoon, 17 in a row if he does it. Must be a great thrill to ride him. Yeah, it is, yeah, he's a wonderful horse. Um, you know, he's all class, he's ability. Um, you know, he's just very, very good, and it's a, a pleasure to ride him. I mean, everybody talks in the papers about formalities and penalty kicks. No horse races like that, obviously, and you're the man on his back. But it must be a huge help that you know every hair on his body. Yeah, I mean, definitely with jump racing, there's no such thing as a formality. He still has to leave the ground mm. uh, six, 12, 15 times, or six, uh, 14 times. But, uh, you know, anything can happen. But, you know, he's just a very good horse. He's definitely the best horse in the race. So I suppose all you need is the normal look required to win a jump race, and he should collect. Mm. Second race, um, Pearl Swan, obviously a non-runner. You're swapped now to uh, to dodging bullets. Ran well at Cheltenham. He did run well at Cheltenham. He travelled quite well for Darrell. Uh, we right up in his chance, going to the last and faded out of it. But, uh, you know, I, I was going for Pearl Swan. I thought it was a more stout stare. Um, I just thought there's plenty of pace in the race and you're going to have to stay to win. Uh, dodging bullets wears a tongue tie for the first time today, so maybe that'll help him get home. Um, Edgardo Sol is an interesting horse today. Back over fences. Yeah, a crack and run in the county behind uh, Tom Mullins' horse Alderwood, who went and won in uh, a graded novice hurl at Ferry House earlier in the week. Um, you know, he got beat first time up in Newton Abbey, and he jumped a bit carefully, came here and won, battled well to win. Um, he's improved all year long. You know, it's a relatively small field for the Red Rum Handicap Chase, 13. It's usually a maximum, and you need a lot of luck. But, uh, you know, it's a competitive race. Thanks for that, Lynn Show. We go a really good gallop, um, as will Kid Cassidy, I'm sure. He's quite keen as well, so um, there'll be no hiding place, but he stays as well, and if I can be close enough turning in, he has a shout. Mm. And Al Faroff, a lot of people very popular with him at, and, and, and supporting him at Cheltenham. He obviously lost his chance with that bad blunder at the top of the hill. Going a bit further today, Ruby, will that, will that help him, do you think? Yeah, I think he boiled over in Cheltenham too. Uh, he got very worked up, he was very warm at the start, and... Uh, you know, I, I think he sort of ran his race before it even started because Joe Tizard agreed with me. We were never actually going that fast, yet we were both in trouble before Sinter Sacker even joined us. Um, you know, he landed on the ditch and put paid to whatever chance he had. But uh, you know, I think going a mile an hour slower today, and he should be a bit fresher. I, I think it'll help him. Um, you know, he's a horse I'm looking forward to next year going further again. So uh, hopefully, this will be a step that's done in the right direction. A lot of punters here today, Ruby, will be wondering about you know the relative form Cheltenham and then coming here. Is it from a jockey's point of view? Is it basically individual? Individual horses, some some can bounce back here at, at, at Aintree, and others just seem just in exactly the same form, even better. Yeah, you know, I mean, unfortunately for us, a lot of Paul's horses didn't spark in Cheltenham, so they didn't get into the finishes in the races and didn't get quite a harder race. Maybe they would have got, so they could be a bit fresher. A lot of Nicky's horses, like the Riverside Theatre and those that had hard races, you know, will know today if it's taken his toll or not whether the extra week has been a help to them or hasn't. And uh, you know, it's a bit of a quandary, but. Uh, Farm is still farm, and you like to be riding the farm horse. Yeah, we well, must mention obviously the main race. You ride what a friend today. You won on him in this race a couple of years ago. I think that's the only time you rode him over fences. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, and I suppose the only thing that today has in common with it was Bayern Munich had not united out of the European Cup the night before. But Wigan beat United last <laughs> night. <laughs> Maybe there's an omen in that. But I think that's what we're looking for is something along those lines. He was third in Newbury behind uh, Long Run and Burton Port. Uh, fell very early in the Gold Cup, which was very uncharacteristic for him. But uh, you know, I rode him in the, in the stairs hurl at the Charlie Hall meeting in, in Weatherby and he didn't give me a great feel that day. I don't know see the horse he was two years ago and uh, he's probably going to need a bit of luck. Hope we all have a little bit of luck, especially yourself, Ruby. Uh, have a great day. Cheers, Tom. Thanks.